Well, the next radio we've got in is a Uniden 200. And I haven't looked at how it's come in. I don't know what car boot sale they bought this from. Uniden 200. No case screws. And a lead kind of shoved inside. So let's hope there is some works. Well, to be honest, it doesn't look too messed about with. I don't think that's anything to do with it. Right, we'll make a mic up and provide a proper lead. Alright, so we've taken the Uniden Uniace 200 to bits and I've made up a microphone and I've provided a power lead, it's powered up. And the first thing we need to do is just check that the VCO is okay. Now it doesn't look like it's messed about with for once, even though this is coming in quite a state, this doesn't look messed about with. Then on the other hand you get ones which look immaculate on the outside and they've been messed about with because the VCO coil there hasn't been touched. So the first thing we're going to do is just check that on channel 40 we've got round about 3.5 volts on transmit on the test point which is at resistor 52. So there we go, I'll just press transmit. We've got 3.3 .3 volts there, that's absolutely fine. Out of curiosity, I'm just going to check what it is on channel 1. Yeah, it's more than 2 volts. That's in lock, that's fine. So that's a good start. Uh, negative was to the power lead negative, because these are a floating chassis, if I remember correctly. Right, so moving on to the transmitter, and the radio is transmitting. The first port of call is L16. The radio is currently doing just about um, just 3 watts. The first coil to do is L16. Followed by L15. Followed by L13. Then we move on to L12, which I'll just need to melt the wax. And then it's L10. And there we are. That's. Uh, I'll just go back on that one because it can be just slightly interactive. It's a good four watts. Okay, so we'll now check on low power that we've got 0 0.4 of a watt. In fact, we've got exactly the same. I'll just adjust that. And the low power is variable resistor 4. Not 0.4 of a watt, that's fine. Okay. So we'll check that the meter reads 4 watts when we key up. Okay, so the meter doesn't work at all. Interesting. I'll just check that if the meter works on receive. Okay, so the meter doesn't work on receive either. So we'll just do some fault finding. 
Okay, continuing where we left off. The snag, if you remember, was that the meter uh, wasn't working. I've been able to strip the meter down and I've been able to get it back to together again. I expect this set's been dropped. It probably suffered that damage when it was thrown in a skip or wherever it's come from. So I'll go back into transmit and we'll see whether we can set that meter up for the 4 watts. And the TX meter is VR3. And that's now in the middle of the red zone, which is the correct setup. Now, we can't adjust the frequency on these, but we can check that they're intolerant. Should be 2779125 on channel 27, 27979148. That's absolutely fine. Deviation is VR5. So we'll just get the oscillator out. Putting on the other camera for you. Which for some reason isn't on, so I won't. And what happened there? Um, 2.2. Just pop that up a fraction. Now we'll go for the whistle test. <whistles> Wallow. That's spot on now. And that concludes the transmitter of the Uniden Uniace 200.